clearly Putin is trying to send a broader message. Moving more kinetic activity in the West, I think, is both designed to potentially stop the flow of materials into the Ukraine to support the Ukrainian government. And I think he's also clearly trying to signal NATO and the West, hey, look, I could get even more aggressive. You aren't beyond my reach. You need to be mindful of that. It makes it difficult to overcome the fact that they are way behind on the battlefield. And as President Zelensky highlighted, every day that this continues where the perception becomes that the Russians are not making progress and are not going to achieve their goal, you wonder if Putin is going to feel the pressure to, to ramp up even further. What more can the U.S. do to try to counteract the Russian propaganda and the disinformation? So, so clearly, I would argue that has been a, been a strength so far for America, both the aggressive use of intelligence, the sh use of multiple platforms to disseminate information. The fact that this is information dynamic is playing out as part of a broader coalition. It's not just one nation. In this case, America speaking. It's a broader collaborative set of international partners. The aggressive use of information and intelligence is a way to say, here's how the parties are thinking. You saw that play out in the Russia-China dynamic in the last 48 hours. I think more of that. I think also to Ambassador McFall's point, this idea about how perhaps we might be a little less visible in some of the things we're doing is a way to increase the probability of actual um, being able to get weapons and supplies in. I think that's something we'll be looking at in the coming days and weeks.